I really don't give a fuck who you are. And chances are I probably wouldn't like you, but I probably would like you more if you're not ashamed of who you are. In that spirit, I'd like to sing you a song. Some folks call me a rambling man. I do a lot of thumbing and kicking cans, and it wouldn't take an ounce of good to call my name. Cause daddy's name wasn't Willie Woodrow And I wasn't born and raised in no ghetto Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing Well, I'm out to find me a wealthy woman In a line of work that don't take no diploma I ain't got much to lose, we got a lot to gain Well, some might call me a good time fella I ain't black and I ain't yellow Just a white boy looking for a place to do my thing Thank you, ladies and gentlemen Okay, well, yeah, I've been working for years on a book about race. The topic is race tonight. I think race actually exists. I think uh, a lot of what's called racism is just a natural tribal instinct, but depends on who's expressing it. You know, I, I think you should apply standards equally. Like I said, everybody, if you, don't, if you don't like who you are, that's fine. If you do, that's fine, too. I want to read you some racial jokes tonight to maybe cut the ice, okay? Because I think the problem is people are way too fucking uptight about this topic, okay? And uh, we're not Europe yet, but we may be soon. They have all sorts of fucked up, crazy hate speech laws. They're putting people in prison just for expressing thoughts, which I think is kind of not seen its own way. Okay, here we go. Black people. These are all things that are written over the past year on Twitter. It's weird to hear Obama has a half-brother. I thought Obama was a half-brother. <laughs> Met a 403-year-old black guy. He says the first three years were great. <laughs> An unexpected downside of multiculturalism is that black actors are now forced to do Viagra commercials. I sat in the back of a bus full of black people today. Thanks a lot, Rosa Parks. <laughs> Rasta on the bus was smelling mighty salty. Thanks again, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is, this is a little known fact, Rosa Parks' younger sister, Alba Parks, once bravely refused to get out of a taxi. Her cousin, Ted Parks, once slept in a car for two weeks. Canadians are justified in condemning America's racism because they treat their black person great up there. <laughs> As a belief system, Rastafarianism can only make sense to someone who's really fucking high on weed. I haven't heard a good racial slur in a coon's age. Kids TV is taking multiculturalism too far. I just heard Mickey Mouse say, all the niggas gotta do to get paid is say the magic words. I asked for colored labels at Home Depot and was instantly mortified when I remembered the proper term is labels of color. <laughs> I don't care how many words Eskimos have for snow. I had at least a hundred different words for black person. <laughs> it's polite to say nigga please, but it should always be followed by nigga thank you and a reciprocal nigga you're welcome. <laughs> If black people don't like being called boy, why are they always starting boycotts? It pains me that after all the TV movies, sit-ins, and sensitivity training, some people still refer to blacks as schmoogies. Mike Tyson appeared on Oprah to express his remorse that his young daughter died before he was able to cook and eat her. A girl we know just named her baby Quintonio. I guess Quadtonio didn't sound powerful enough. Gary Coleman has been arrested for domestic violence. That's all. No punchline is necessary. <laughs> Breaking. All MCs whose names begin with Lil have signed contracts to come out with medium and large versions of themselves. I always see people talking about Martin Luther King, but they always leave out his last name, which was Boulevard. <laughs> It's true, white men can't jump. Then again, I don't see anyone in the NBA doing calculus. <laughs> American Satanism has split along racial lines, with the blacks now being led by a na man named Antoine LaVey. I fail to see how 400 years of oppression justify cutting ahead of people in line. Carmelo Anthony just beat the Lakers while his brothers Marshmallow and Nougat Anthony cheered in the stands. 
I like the Somali pirates. You don't normally see black people get that much into boating. <laughs> black men can be great orators, yet they refuse to perform oral sex. And that's it for the black people, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Whites. Every ghost I've ever seen is white, so I classify the Ghostbusters as a hate group. <laughs> Suspected serial killer in Cleveland is black. Looks like all us white guys have left is NASCAR. <laughs> I bought the black iPhone instead of the white one because the sales lady was black and I didn't want a situation. Great white sharks are overrepresented in all levels of society. It's as if great black sharks didn't even exist. You so white, a snowflake leaves a skid mark on you. No, actually, I, I, I don't think there is a zip code in Chicago that's 88% black. Mine is, so I have racial joke telling immunity. I live in Stone Mountain, Georgia. My neighborhood's so black, all the lawn jockey statues are white. The coolest thing about living in a black neighborhood is that it protects me from all the white people that want to kill me. <laughs> and white people are the only ethnic group on earth who love themselves for hating themselves. Yeah. Asians. We have any Asians in the audience? Yes. Yeah. No? Underrepresented. Okay. What do the Mongols call their Mongoloids? <laughs> and, and is it a hate crime to tell an Asian person you feel disoriented? <laughs> I just read that 6,000 Asian men are married to black women in the USA. That estimate sounds high by, I don't know, about 6,000 or something. <laughs> Imagine being asked at gunpoint to name your 10 favorite Asian comedians. <laughs> it's wrong to say black people look like monkeys. Vietnamese people are the ones that look like monkeys. <laughs> and no offense to the Japanese, but it's been nippy outside. <laughs> Jews! Any Jews in the audience tonight? Yeah. Alright, right on. Max, you are a Jew. My favorite Chicago Jew right here. Yeah. Yeah. Question for you, Max. When God made a pact with Israel, did the Jews have their lawyers review it first? <laughs> Goliath may have been a giant, but David was Jewish, so he has the media on his side. <laughs> Here's a new word that I invented. Segropomorphism. It's a noun. The act of projecting human ethnicity onto non-humans, as in Jim believes all orangutans are Jews. <laughs> I decided not to watch Jersey Shore again until one of them says something anti-Semitic. <laughs> Steven Spielberg is filming a Martin Luther King biopic. I had a dream I stood on a mountaintop and puked. <laughs> Another noun that I, I came up with, anti-Santite. That's a person with an irrational fear and or loathing of Christmas. And even though technically they're not a, uh, an ethnicity, Muslims, I hate fucking Muslims, sorry, if you don't kill me, don't shoot me, I think it's a stupid, violent religion. I agree. You're, it's, you're, considered, you're considered racist if you say something about Muslims, so I'm including them. Since they curse and disparage dogs so much, I'm going to assume that, by and large, Muslims are cat people. <laughs> Muslim weed must be some pretty good shit for them to get stoned to death. <laughs> Yeah, I need a wrench out of here. Nazis! Okay. When all was said and done, did anyone actually learn to improve their concentration at those camps? <laughs> if Hitler had killed six million Frenchmen, no one would have complained. <laughs> I refuse to believe Hitler was a vegetarian. He just doesn't seem that pushy. <laughs> Hitler always blamed the Jew, but he never specified which one? Okay, Mexicans. At night in Death Valley once, I concluded that a group of bats flying around a light pole were non-homophobic Latino heterosexuals. <laughs> How did people who don't speak a word of Latin, have never been to Rome, and don't own a single toga come to be known as Latinos? Yeah. Yeah. The Constitution's three-fifths of a person rule was unfairly applied to blacks. Due to the height thing, it should have covered Mexicans. <laughs> Crossing the border illegally presents special challenges to people in wheelchairs. <laughs> okay, Martians. I think sooner or later if Martians attack, we will have a race war with Martians. Martians landed on Earth last night. They looked around, shrugged, said, what a bunch of fags. And then left. 